What's up, what's up guys? What's up ladies and gents, gamers from everywhere? Here I'm back, very sleepy. Hot at 7 here on Team RCT, bringing you another live stream for you guys. Tonight, we're gonna have something I've been hyping up on Twitter and on Facebook and a whole bunch of social media, which is a threat of aggression. Now, a lot of you folk kind of like uh, got scared, I think, when I started um, tweeting these weapons and choices and stuff like that. We're just having a little fun, poking a little fun at the fact that beat em ups, which is what a threat of aggression is all about, their basis is, you know, combat. And of course, uh, most of the most famous uh, beat em ups of all time. The main weapons that you have is like knives and bats and stuff like that. So I was kind of like trying to make a play on that. Now that I was actually losing my mind. But yeah, it was fun. It was fun to do. A little creative work on the side. Um, so basically, a sort of aggression is going to be just that. It's going to be a collection. I'm going to be playing a collection of all the best arcade, console, uh, whatever. Uh, whatever platform, PC, uh even uh, portable if it comes to that of all the classical and most awesome beat-em-ups that there has been um tonight we're gonna start off because like i mentioned in other videos i like to warm up the stuff a bit you know not like head on straight up like because it's not like a hollywood production or anything of the, of the life this is more like laid back having fun with a group of friends which by the way I'm gonna take the chance now. Let me get this up real quick here, because I want to throw I want to throw a shout out to a few people here, a uh, few uh, newfound friends on on Twitter. Uh, shout out to Mick Warren, uh, incredibly cool guy. Um, we got over here. We got over here Shinigami, we got over here Pit Skeleton, we got Chaza, yeah we got a whole bunch, a whole bunch of guys, you know, really cool people that I'm finding on, on Twitter and we're having this interaction and conversations about gaming that I really didn't think it was possible. Actually I has I have lost faith in many ways in the internet these days with all the people complaining and, and whining about stuff about everything so it was very refreshing to find these people uh, especially on, on social media as big as twitter so yeah i'm very happy about that having to interact with with guys awesome people like you uh either here on the stream on my youtube channel or on twitter or facebook so yeah shout out to those guys really awesome especially as i'm missing one I'm missing one and I don't want to miss because we had such a cool exchange oh of course Vader Vader's one of the guys rock on Vader and there's one more one more before I begin because I'm gonna feel like a jackass if I don't do this even though it's not warranted but hell I was having tons of fun. Okay. The last shout out goes to Zetsubo. Zetsubo. Dude, you came out of nowhere. You started talking about the uh, survival horror genre and how you felt about it. So, great conversation. I had tons of fun with those tweets. Take care, bro. I hope you come around the stream soon and you stay and stick around and come in the chat and we'll keep on talking about that because very very interesting subject and of course I'm always here for you guys so without further ado let's let's go into what you guys came for let me bring the volume down as much as it hurts me to lower down the volume from this awesome band Craptor local band from Venezuela awesome awesome guys very down to earth very open just like the guys I just had a shout out to 
very open to people and I think that's the most important thing all right so let's leave it there and let's head over for the first few games of tonight now one of the most spoken about games in this genre in the beat em ups is a little game called Denjin Magai I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but yeah we're gonna start with that because historically I guess it would be pretty accurate to say that this was one of the first later on as this develops because this is gonna be a series I'll be creating a special module for my hyperspin setting so that way all of the games are gonna be nicely put into one pit in one place and it'll be easier to select and stuff like that but for now let's go into this one side fighter damn god thanks a lot man you came in early i wasn't expecting you so soon but cool cool man stick around this is our first game for tonight denjin makai don't ask me i'm just gonna start it out right now very famous in Japan and from what I can hear it's one of the most revered series in the beat em up genre so all right Afro Soul part of team RCT all right already with us here Sci Fighter, how's that bike doing, man? Did you did you install the, the Wii U tablet that I told you so you can have a little Mario Kart on the run? All right. So so far, the controls are pretty simple. As I expect most of these games to be because they came at a time before the, the genre, the fighting genre, became something of a, of a hit. This was kind of like the granddaddy of the Street Fighter and the fighting games um, genres and stuff. You know. So you got your basic punch kicks, combos, you got your jumping button. Nice, nice. It's good that you start taking care of it right away before it, uh, rust starts settling in and stuff. But I bet you're gonna have tons of fun with it because besides, besides the fact that it's something entertaining, it's also good for your health and I know that you know, we tend to do a lot of things that go against our health and you have something to balance it, balance it out a bit. I gotta start tell you the truth uh sci fighter i i gotta start working out again because after my last stint in the hospital i haven't picked up the weights again man and it really starts getting to you you start missing meals and you start missing sleep and stuff and when you when you come to see you're back in the hospital again Okay, so far I haven't done any kind of specials or anything. I'm gonna try out, see if there's any combinations where I can use. There you go, Tornado Buster. That's that's the special move right there. Damn, I'm dead already. Jeez. Okay, let me let me pick another character. Oh, you got you got like a fucking dinosaur. Oh no, this is like a wer a werewolf android kind of thing. Okay. 
Oh, nice kick. Also, by the way, guys, um, to anybody who's tuning in right now, uh, yeah. As you can tell by the front page of my channel, I now have a subscription button, which is not in any way uh, an obligation. You can follow what I haven't to subscribe. However, as much as it's a pain in the ass for me to be reminding you of this, but it would really help a lot if you guys, any of you guys subscribe and you benefit, you get a, uh, a game card. Uh, you get uh, special emotes and a whole bunch of other stuff. You just check into it. It's $4.99 and it helps me, you know, it supports my channel, help me get better equipment and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get too much into it because I don't really like doing that, but we got to be realistic. It costs money. You're doing what you love, either if you like it or not, but everything costs money, unfortunately. So, alright, I'm getting my ass handed to me by this robot because I am talking too much. Let me get... Who the hell is this? What? This is like a wrestler. This is like a mix between Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. Damn, man, what the heck? Okay, special move. What? Oh! Did he... Muscle bot muscle what? Muscle braster. I have no idea what that is. Okay. This guy right now to me is useless. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god, I can't even get near to him. somebody else because this let's try the girl Woo! all right and she's and she's quick hopefully that will help there you go there you go don't give him don't give him don't give him any chance all right what she's still alive she's still alive I really heard some really good good things about the uh, sequel of this because this is the first one. But the second one, I've heard there are tons of coverage. Den Dengi Makai 2. Apparently uh, with improved graphics and stuff. I'll look into it and see if I can add it to the roster. And in any case, if you find me a little slow, just leave a comment on the chat to wake me up because I'm a little I'm a little off. I have to admit I haven't slept very well. Hopefully tonight I'll get some Z's. A lot on my mind, a lot of things to do. Oh no honey, this is this is purple. This is the color. Look at this. Spinning kick! It's really hard to tell the character from the enemies because of the colors and stuff, but it's pretty good. It has pretty good controls. Well, I'm gonna go... This was okay for a warm-up. I'm gonna go for... something a bit more familiar to everybody. I'm gonna start with the fir very first one, which of course is the seminal final fight. Let me get this screen crap out of the way. There you go. Woo!
little bit of my secret toxic potion right here. Sci Fighter, you know what I'm talking about. You know the good stuff. There you go. Hey, guys. I threw so many quarters at this machine when it came out. <laughs> oh shit, let's go, let's go. Alright, here you go. Two of the future Street Fighter roster. Right here, dying Cody. <laughs> to be honest, I can't wait to see Hagar in one of those Street Fighters. second guys just uh, I'm, 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 I don't know if you're feeding it over there but the, the, the music is getting pretty intense okay hold on let me lower it for a little bit no that's not it here I go again with the brain farts okay let's bring it down just a notch there you go I don't know about you guys and gamers in general if they have to me this one of course this was the first beat em up that I ever played remember playing I also have favorites like uh, the Ninja Turtles of course the arcade X-Men which is to this day is still a fucking awesome arcade machine basically Bionic Commando but to me, for me at least this is the one that started it all at least in beat em -ups. get over here and then of course on the consoles we got Streets of Rage which is again very hard competition for this for this game over here because this one I know the special move from this guy. Get over here. I'm gonna fuck you up. Now tomorrow for the third day or third night in the row, I'm gonna go back to Twitch to do the shoot 'em up 101 part four. Where I do the most crazy ass shooters, space shooters, of course. Oh boy, here we go. Special move, come on, special move. There goes poison. Ah. Who would have thought that after all these years, poison was going to become part of the Street Fighter roster? And there she is, or he, 
we still don't know for sure. A lot of rumors, a lot of hearsay. Nobody knows if she's a he or not. But yep, that's poison. There we go. That's the first stage. That 80s music, synthesizer music. Sometimes you gotta hit the button so far in advance. And look at Hugo. Ah, the other one. Come on, Hugo. Here his name is Andore, but as Street Fighter characters. They, they change it to Hugo for some reason, I don't know. Seriously, you're getting on my fucking nose. Yeah, let me keep you out of the screen. Oh. Cheap, 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 cheap. Cheap you out. There you go. All of these games, Sci Fighter, when you sit down with them, they always transport you to that time, man. But I gotta do something about the music, though, because the music is really getting to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. I'm gonna have to use his eyes. Alright, get over here. And to me, this right here, here, this is where Capcom got the inspiration to do Sandwich. Because it's the same moves, the same thing, wrestler and everything. So I think this was the blueprint. Basically, for example, oh my God, the sound is killing me. Get a pineapple. Sorry, poison. Now it is a little give and take, though, because you can use. And limited time is special, but it's gonna drain your health. So you gotta be wise how you gonna use it. I think he hasn't come up yet. I don't think it's this enemy over here, but uh, Birdie? I'm not sure if Birdie was. I gotta, I gotta research that because I can't remember if Birdie came from this game or if it came from some other game.
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's right there. I have it for RK and for SNES, I believe. I gotta say guys, um, the poll for the survival horror game for uh, the one that I'm asking you guys which one would you like me to cover, so far Silent Hill is in the lead. Um, I'm gonna give the poll a few more days before bringing it down, and I wanna give you guys enough time to react to it and get a chance to vote. I'm all for it. Whatever you guys pick, I'm gonna go with. And look at this guy right here. This is whoa! What happened? Uh -huh, not quite. I get a chance to fight you. I think they put this guy in Street Fighter Alpha. If I'm correct. Red Bies, how you doing my friend? Everything okay? How's the family doing? You came at the perfect time doing Final Fight. Well, Final Fight Arcade, of course, not the same as the SNES version. This one is much cheaper. <laughs> this one is done to suck quarters out of you. I don't care, I'm gonna keep throwing quarters at it. Oh Look what he has his arm. Look at his arm. His arm looks like it's coming out of his head. Street Fighter, <laughs> Street Fighter influence. Now you know where that came from. Jump, jump! Damn it! Okay, that's it. Go to the other side. Ah, time is gonna run out! Too late. Nope. Didn't smack the Toyota too fast enough. Alright, what the hell happened to this part of the street? Why does it... I don't know. This sounds a little crazier than it looked back then. Yes! Aggression! Violence! Kill! Kill! Look at that. Everybody ganging up and shit. Get mad! Get even! Go Van Damme on their asses! is uh that's Hugo. It says Andore, but the, 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 the official name that they gave him as a Street Fighter character is Hugo. He's a pain in the ass. That's all I can say. He just runs and runs you over like a train. 
if you give him a chance. If you can, you can do this, which I'm doing right now, which is keeping him out, not letting him come into the screen, and just hitting him over and over, because if not, he's gonna do that. Occasionally, you can drop in and do a few combos, but he's too... Every enemy here is like super fucking quick. Yeah, that's basically the inspiration for him. And there's no denying it either, because they look exactly the same. So that's that's pretty spot on, Afro. Really sliding now? Now this guy, not for nothing, I think that guy right there, Gato, the one that's sliding, I think that's what they use for inspiration for Relente, which is one of the Street Fighter characters that I really don't like that much. And you know what guys, I'm gonna go and jump to the next game. Because believe me, there are so many more that you have no idea. Now the next one up actually is from Capcom as well. And uh, it's called Battle Circuit. Now Battle Circuit has absolutely no definition. I, I cannot place this, I mean, it's a beat-em-up, but it's so surreal and crazy that I have no idea what they were thinking when they made this game. And that, it's craziness and it's wackiness is what actually makes it pretty fun. It has a little bit of Bionic, um, not Bionic Commando, Captain Commando, and Final Fight mixed in, which are Capcom games anyway. But... You're gonna see right now. You're gonna see. Alright, now I can. Because now it's not so loud. Look at this. Okay, you got five characters to choose from. Each of them make absolute no fucking sense at all. I'm gonna take Mr. Cyber Blue because Cyber Blue looks just like a hero. And, you know, we gotta use heroes to save the day. And we just get dropped in here. To fight uh, Mr. Dr. Saturn with absolutely no idea what we're supposed to do. But it's so colorful and animated that to me it's a winner. Look at this. <clears throat> Of course, it has to have some special moves. I have no idea what the coin does. All I know is that this is the boss that you're supposed to kill and... No problem. No problem. There you go. And that was stage number one. So I get tons of money, and this happens. Kind of get the idea that he's like a bounty hunter or something, I don't know. But it seems that his manager is basically a dick, as you can read. already want to kill him just for saying that I should kick your ass all right so of 
for some reason, what you just said didn't sound right. Okay, so they're showing us a move here. Hyper tor Tornado. Oh, you can buy these! Ah, but I don't have enough money. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, let's exit because I don't have any money. Yet. Story of my life. At least I got a flash kick. I'm seeing Street Fighter moves in here. Now this game basically, just like the first one I played, Denjin Makai. This one is more famous in Japan and other territories than at least I didn't I never played this before. I gotta be completely honest and not try to not try to shy away from the fact that I didn't get to play this before. Because that's the truth. I mean <laughs> not gonna be here all like, oh yeah, yeah, I I've done this because I haven't. But it's so it looks so fun. I mean it is fun. Okay, I got something here. I don't know what it is. Oh, instant kill. Nice. Oh, shit. They killed me and out of my body came a hamburger and a milkshake and some other crap. Money, money. Give me money. Give me all those coins, man. I need coins to buy moves. All right. Oh, don't tell me I gotta fight Elvis. Please, no, 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 not Elvis. Yes, it's Elvis. God. Jeez. Oh, man. Why? Why you do this, man? Really? Really? <laughs> Give me money. Elvis, you're supposed to be dead, Elvis. What are you doing here? I'm serious, Ribice. What the hell? And then, no, you gotta go to a disco to, to fight Elvis. Really? Uh, okay, let me pick somebody else. Let me pick the chick and see what's up. She is a cat fighter that carries around a little kitty. Okay. I'll bite. And for whatever reason, female fighters that are portrayed in these types of games are usually very quick. Very light bodied, very uh, nimble and then and, and quick. However, they have very low stamina for some reason. And she did I don't know what the hell was that. She did it and Elvis is dead again. Sorry Elvis, didn't want to do it, but you brought it upon yourself. I am not going to answer that, Afro. You're not gonna bait me that easy. Okay, so I get a chance to... Oh, I can buy... And you're not giving me enough time! Okay, let me, at least I got something. Alright, got two, two moves. Got one, hitting the button really quick. So at least this one has... It's a beat-em-up, but at least it gives you kind of, sort of like a little RPG upgrading feel to it. 
where your characters, they don't have to necessarily stay with the same moves over and over, which is good. It gives it a more replay value to it. And of course, being an arcade game, it gives you more reasons to keep putting quarters in it. Now I want to see where my moves are, because all I'm doing is that special... There it goes. I got that uppercut. Alright. Give me food. Kitty needs to eat. Ooh, whip. Oh shit, got busy. Come on. Come on. Almost there, almost there. And she's dead, and she threw up an apple and a sundae. That's it. Give me my money. Money, 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 money. You know what this re reminds me of, right? Battletoads. And that one, that one is a pain in the ass. Awesome, awesome game, especially the Super NES one. And I am not even hitting it. All right, all right, now, now I am. I just want some money, man. Give me money, money, money. This is just like Battle Souls, but at least uh, easier. Uh, okay. Oh! Don't take money away from me, man. What was that? All right. Bonus area up here. Right. Good. Oh shit. You know, Joe. Alright, there we go. Whip, 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 whip. Why they throw up the food? I have no idea. Let me try somebody else. Okay. Pink! Pink rides an ostrich. A pink ostrich. I bet you're not gonna complain now, Afro. Oh, get off of me. That was weird. She also has an uppercut move, nice. Beak, 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 beak. That's exactly what she has, a beak. She has a beak, a, a, 
a pink beak and a pecker. Oh my god. Alright, upgrade. I think this should be energy. Yeah, let me get max health. That's it. That's all I got money for. Yo, so Ripeyes, how's it going, man? Talk to me. What's up? Woo! At least I know Sci Fighter's doing okay because he has a new bike. Alright. And Red Ice, tomorrow I'm going back to the hellish shooters. Ah! That's why I need to sleep tonight because if not, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me with those shooters. Still got a ton of them to go. I wasn't necessarily planning to make the whole playthrough on this, but so far it's looking pretty cool. And as far as beat em ups, this one is pretty colorful and it has a lot of technique to it, which is good. Let's try another one A green. And this is. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is. I mean, you take a guess. It's a man-eating plant. It's an alien plant. I, I, I really don't know. I don't know what to say. Look at that. Oh my god, I think I left the best for last. Look at this shit. There's no way of explaining this shit. Give me my money. Oh, that's a freezing ray. Get over here. Everything you said, Ribice, is absolutely correct. It's very hard being a parent. I wish you the best of luck, man, but you know, they're worth it. They are worth it. Sometimes it gets a little too hard, but believe me that they are worth it. And yes, as you can see, I'm using a fucking alien man eating plant. I mean. Okay! <laughs> If I have one one complaint though is for the nice graphics that it has, it has some really really boring music. I mean, it's like I'm falling. Well, actually, I'm falling asleep regardless. But the music is like very tame for all the action that's going on screen. But not everybody is Yuka, Ka, what was his name? Yu Hakusho or something like that. Yu Hakusho or Yu Yakusho or something like that that made the composer for Streets of Rage. Not everybody can be him and he made some awesome soundtracks. Oh, 
Oh my god, this guy threw up everything. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it here, and... I'm gonna go and check up on something really, really quick. So if you guys go anywhere, I'll be right back. Just one or two minutes left, alright? Be right back. Alright guys, sorry for the wait. Checking up on the last call that I had there for a second. Gotta make sure that it wasn't an emergency or anything like that, so you know sorry for making you guys wait. Alright, let's go back into it. Now this one I know I'm gonna be playing until I finish it because that's the only way to play this next game. Yep, you guessed it. X-Men. Bring it over here. One of the more, I gotta say, one of the more endearing, I think, beat em ups. And it still holds pretty well today. It's still pretty fun to, you know, kick ass with one of the X-Men. X-Men. So, yeah. Alright, Ribby. Sorry, I, I read that late. It's alright, man. I'll wait for you guys. So let's see, who to pick? I'm gonna start off with Cyclops because my favorite is Wolverine, but that would be kind of a cop out because I'll probably pick that one and, and, and stay with that one. 
by Magneto A to destroy the world. Put a lot of quarters because I'm going to need it. Power of the, evil mutant. the only hope is X-Men. Go and save the city. This, of course, part of the long series of multiplayer games that came out at that era from Konami. Of course, after this, they had uh, the most famous one was uh, the Ninja Turtles one. That was also four players. And one of the more fun arcade games because you get to play with a whole bunch of other people. And you get to kick him in the floor. That's really nice. Now, I hadn't done it up to this point, but I'm gonna do it now. I'm sorry, but... Oh yeah. can't deny that that music goes perfect with this game. Now how, how is it that you do the, the special move? Because I know he has to have that eye beam thing. There you go. Wasn't pressing the button. Gotta press the button. Come on, how the head? What's wrong with you? Oh, punch the fuck out! All right. I'm the blue man. Look at that. Shut up. No, don't give your back to him, man. What's wrong with you? Thrash metal for thrashing robots. Pretty cool mix. Ah, I see. I can't abuse the the ray. The ray has like a certain amount of power. Once you spend it, that's it. And the life meter, you don't have a life meter, what you have is, is uh, the life is measured by the, the quarters that you put in. So now I got 16 life.
But since I want to change characters, I'm not going to put any more quarters in. Hey, what's up, bad luck? Damn, you have some perfect timing. You came right where I was playing X-Men. Ain't that a coincidence? I bet your brother's gonna be very happy if he sees this. It's gonna bring a lot of memories. The thing is, I can't change the character because I put so many fucking quarters in it. Now I have to spend them all before I can pick another one, another guy. Uh, just in case you were wondering, bad luck. Uh, basically, what you missed was uh, what's that? That the name of that game again? Uh, Denjin, Denjin. Makai, which is a weird but very revered uh, Japanese beat em up. Then I played Battle Circuit, which is another one that's pretty popular in Japan. And weird as fuck, as you're gonna see by the recording. I also did Final Fight, the arcade one, the first one, so. Since, since this is going to be an ongoing series and they're going to be, believe me, there's going to be some surprises here because there are some crazy ass beat em ups in this list. Come on. Oh, you're going to gang up on me. I just spent that uselessly over here. You cheap bastards! Stop it. There we go, a boss, at last. Nice. I try to smack. Smack him, smack him! Oh, shit. Grab him right from the noggin. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Bash him right on the back. You kidding me? Oh no, you don't. Fire Yeah. <laughs>
I shouldn't have put so many damn quarters. I should let myself get killed a few times so I can choose another character because if not... Blow the fuck up! Now again, I'm sorry I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but for anybody who's tuning in now, just wanted to let you know, even though it's not an obligation, it's not required, but I would really appreciate one or two things, either if you're just viewing, just to check out the stuff, whatever, and you can follow the channel, I would really appreciate it, it helps a lot. And for those who actually like the content and are looking forward to seeing more stuff being done here, uh, there's now a subscription option, which is $4.99. Um, you get some added perks for subscribing to the channel, which uh, you can check out by marking the option and, and checking out where you can has a gift card and uh, certain other things, perks for subscribers and yeah it helps me a lot now if you don't feel like subscribing you can also go to the youtube channel and follow me there that would also help as well but viewers will probably already know that because you're already used to how stuff works around streaming and all that stuff you know Freaking bees! Ugh, kill him already. I want to use Wolverine. Oh, I also need to mention again the uh, ongoing poll that I have to see which one of the survival horror games you would like uh, to see me cover. Right around, I'm going to have that special, I'm going to be, you know, uploading promos on the social media and stuff, but it's going to be right around Halloween. So far, out of the poll, Silent Hill is winning. So, yeah. But there's still time. That poll is going to be going on for a few more days. So go ahead. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but go ahead and rock the vote. I'll be doing here whatever you guys like, so... Magneto! Holy shit. Right. Holy crap. Damn. 
but at least they're killing enough of Cyclops for me to soon to be able to pick another character, which is good. Okay, I got white crocodiles. Cracks. Holy! What the fuck? Just dropped on me. That's what I was mentioning before, Rebice, that Konami had really some good um, arcade games. This one and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being the most famous of them. But they had uh, quite a few. And four players just made it a whole lot better. Now fun was not being limited to just two people. But now four can participate at the same time. And it was pretty cool. Especially in team based games like this one. Like X-Men and, and, and the Ninja Turtles. The Simpsons as well. Because even though... That one is uh, the cartoon, uh, The Simpsons. That's a beat em up as well. And I will cover that one too. Now, the cool thing about beat em ups. Hold on a second. The cool thing about beat em ups is the fact that a lot of the mechanics that went into these type of games were used for other kind of games that came afterwards like for adventure games and fighting games this genre even though it's not very talked about much like the shooters and the fighters and stuff like that to me I mean guessing just by logic it, uh, it, it gave a lot to the to the industry in terms of gameplay mechanics Yes, kill him because I want to use somebody else. Go ahead. Kill him. These E.T. looking ugly motherfuckers. They look like mutant E.T.'s. Okay, no. Wolverine. Alright. Yeah. Berserker Oh yeah. Look at that strider action right there. Jesus, stay kill uh, stay still for a minute, please. Oh Lord, there you go. Alright. Now of course you can't deny the fact that sometimes the gameplay gets repetitive because you are going you know stage by stage and doing the same thing over and over but back then we didn't have a lot of choices and out of the choices that they were this was pretty cool nice scream Have a roll or something. 
Now the one, <laughs> the one that I'm, uh, well actually two of them, that I'm going to enjoy a lot covering is number one Punisher, which is going to come up in one of these uh, specials, and the other one being Alien vs. Predator. Those two games are, oh my god. Tonight, I just wanted to kind of like ease in, being that this is like the first part of the series, and I'm hoping it's going to become, if you guys like it or not, it's going to become a long series. God, ribeyes, I'm tired. <laughs> I feel old, old and tired. Stop the bullshit. Let's get this done. I'll get enough sleep when I'm dead. This has to be done. <laughs> oh, where did that come from? Bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Going back and forth. Back and forth. Slapping everybody up. And here we go with the fucking ETs again. Geez, what's up? Steven Spielberg worked on this game or something? Ready. Let me slap you for a bit. What's with the laugh? That laugh sounds like an old lady. Dogs didn't like it so much. As you can hear. Dogs are going batshit crazy in the background. Stop it. That was a cheap shot. we have here let's use Colossus dogs get kind of riled up sometimes they see a, a dog uh, crossing the street and they go fucking haywire and batshit crazy over nothing sometimes the, the dog crossing the street it's been like fucking 20 minutes since it's passed and they're still barking Go figure. Yeah, just like that. Just like what well, Colossus did right now. Whoa. Wraith! Oh! Oh, Colossus, you're gonna get your ass. Okay, so 
hold on a second. Alright guys, back again. Okay. I wonder if I'm anywhere near finishing this. Juggernaut will flatten you. Juggernaut. Ross is pissed. Yeah, I kind of had enough of X-Men. Let's go. Let's see, what else? Yeah, I actually might go. I would have loved leaving it for another for another stream, but I might as well go ahead. Since I mentioned it, might as well go ahead. Now I got two versions here, and no, I'm not gonna play the Nintendo one. I got uh, Turtles in Time, which is a Super NES one. This is the one. Alright. A little ROM check there. Winners don't use drugs. There you go. Pizza power! This one, I'm gonna have to play as Leonardo because this one, depending on the one on the position, is the character that you're gonna get. This one doesn't give you much break, so let, let kick shell. Let's go ahead and do this. Let kick shell. This is April on the morning. <laughs> hey, Crank! Bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag! Here we go! I've seen plenty of really, really good players master this game and actually do speed runs on it. Just for the record, I'm not one of those players. <laughs> We're gonna see how a regular guy plays, plays this game, basically. Pizza time! Come 
down, dash, dash. Come on, get off me. Get off me. Please. Stop smacking me around. Prepare to die. First boss. Terminate the turtle. This game, just like many of these beat em ups, are uh, enjoyed more in company. Played by two or more people, it makes it absolutely an awesome play experience. But, however, that is not the case here, so you gotta go on a solo. Can't 
brute force is going, man. Oh shit, I just killed my character in one shit. Cowabunga! Sewer Serpent! Oh boy, the surfing part. Oh! My toes! My toes! Really going bad on this stage. Do that! They're ganging up on me and shit. Get your bearings, get your bearings. Pizza time! Alright, got some energy, but I get kicked. And kicked. And kick and slap and kick. Ouch. My toes, my toes. Why does this remind me so much of Battle Toads? Oh, get away! Away! My toes! My toes! Never in this Dog. stage! Pizza time! I'm just gonna try to avoid him because I can't even try to fight him and shit. There you go. Prehistoric Turtle Saurus. And for whatever reason, the Foot Clan managed to go back in time. With Leonardo. Alright. I'll bite. Bows and arrows, huh? 
We don't have a bunch of those. These hammering guys are not gonna make my life any easier. Jesus, this is a massacre. Fighting the thing over and over again. Forgot the sun cream. Nice, nice little touch. The thing is that the art style on this game still holds up very well today. Animations and little touches here and there, the sound. Pizza time! Cement man lives! Cement man. Oh, okay. God, that he's pretty slow. Crossbones! <laughs> Forgot the sun cream! Let the let shell! Like them stone creatures really need some more firepower. No. Oh, no, I no. feel seasick. Not more than I, buddy. No. Duh, my nose. My toes! Pizza power! I 
Forgot the sun cream. Come on. Time. Oh, these guys are so fucking annoying. Come on. Ooh, oh, shit. I feel seasick. Alright. Yeah. Is that Is it? Yeah. Looks like it. I'm getting my shell kicked. Time and time again. I'll swing like a madman. Hope for the best. Slash, 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 slash. Like there's no tomorrow. Slash. Don't give up, 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 don't give up. Don't give up. Oh. oh, if you get thrown in, you're fucked. Doggy. Jesus. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Blow up. Blow up. Go up. Jeez, how much more? Oh, okay. oh alas. Let, let it shell! Cowabunga! Bury my shell at wounded knee. Okay. On that. Why are there rockmen from the prehistoric era over here? Uh, I don't get it. Well, they were at the pirate ship as well, so... Okay. Cannot let them gang up on me, because they will make mince meat out of me. Ooh, I feel seasick! We're not at sea anymore, then I will say. Quit the bullshit.
them corner me because if they gang up on me, I'm done. Ooh, I feel seasick. That big crate exploded and took none of them. The rock monsters have rocket launchers. Seriously. Little annoying piece of shit. Yeah. I feel seasick. Leonardo, you're already starting to sound like Flippy from from Star Fox. Too much whining. Uh, oh, good pizza time. Now this is cool. I endure, I endure all those stages, the monotonous stages, just to do the, the boss fights. The boss fights are pretty cool. Over here is pretty, pretty Tyson right now. Oh, <laughs> really? Please tell me that there are no more rock men or stone men in, in the stage. Please, please. It has to be like the most fucking annoying enemy in these games ever. Well, I am starting, so I, I think I'm going to be finding a lot more of these annoying characters as time goes by. look good down to my last four quarters and I do not plan on putting any more so this is it gotta make these four count Device. What the f 
All I'm getting to see is that agonizing animation frame of Leonardo whizzing in pain. That's basically what I've seen the most so far. Pizza time! Face the wrath of Super Crank! Super Crank! It's gonna fuck me up! Crank, Crank, Crank! Get down! We got two and a half, not even. Two more quarters, that's it. Looks and stamina. Down to the last quarter. This is it. Look at you, you're already, already you're dead. dead. Hey. You're going to pay. Kawabunga! Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. second. Alright, give me a second guys here while I check something out really quick. Basically, I reset the game. Oh, well, yeah, that's gonna be it. It's already 10.30, so might as well just wrap it up for you guys now. Um, let's see, for next week... For next week, I'm hoping to have... Next week I'm hoping to have some more some more beat em ups of course, but I'm gonna have them specially made inside of the module. So I have like a special list instead of going around and stuff. Plus we got some more beat em ups from the consoles which we need to cover uh, Sega Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo, Turbo Graphics. They all have really good beat em ups all the time. So I thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys like the whole beat em ups tribute kind of thing going on here. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next Tuesday with some more beat em ups. Uh, nothing. You guys take care. See you guys next week. Uh, tomorrow I'll be going back to Twitch to do the shoot em up special, which is already in its fourth iteration. So I see you guys over there. Please take care and thank you. Thanks to the guys over at uh, Twitter. Been very kind to me and very supportive. So, see you guys later. Man. Take care.